All right, I'm here with Sensei Glick, VZ Glick on Instagram, Judo Shintaro YC. Today we're gonna to talk about hip to hip position, right versus left. Generally, when you have right versus left, you have a collar, collar, sleeve, sleeve, this sort of thing, inside versus outside, I'm winning. Now Glick is winning. He's on the outside, if he has a strong post, shoulder turn, he's winning. Okay, this is not good for me, this is very good for me. But sometimes my opponent on the outside, generally it's the outside person that initiates this, will maybe close this elbow down here, right, and then go over the back. Deep back. Oh, I've noticed the position of my arm makes it very risky for me because if I feel like I'm in trouble, I can't really push him away. So now in this position, I don't really have that much pulling power either. If he wants to pull his hips away from me, he could easily do so. He could move his hips around freely, okay, like a salsa dancer. It's not very ideal for me. So in this case, if I can't create distance, I'm gonna accept this position. I'm just gonna release and go around the waist. Now we're in this right versus left hip to hip. And there are some advantages to be had here. If I have my shoulder underneath his armpit, see now it's elevated. Now he doesn't have as much control with the shoulder. If he brings his shoulder over my arm this way, now the risk is the Tanya Toshi risk going to the backside. Okay, so if you turn around here, if he decides to sit down for Tanya Toshi, look, this arm gets stuck and now this close, distance is closed, it's gonna cause me a lot of trouble. So generally here, when you have this hip to hip position, you're kind of fighting for the shoulder position. See, my shoulder's under, his shoulder's on top. We don't really want our shoulders to get stuck. His shoulder will get stuck high, my shoulder will get stuck low. So we're fighting for this position, and as we're doing so, we're keeping our hips back because it's very, very risky to be upright in this position because the proximity is so close. Generally, if we have this right versus left collar position, if any time I feel there's a danger, look, I can create a lot of distance right, using this post. Okay, see how I could create arm's length distance. When we're locked in, over under hip to hip, this position here, the proximity between my chest and his chest are locked in. So it's a little bit more riskier, right? Whenever you get the hip to hip, right versus left, fireworks happen. Boom, someone's about to get bombed. So what are we gonna do here? Most people already know, big Koshiguma, Uchimata, going behind, Tanya Toshi. Everyone sort of knows this, so we're not really gonna cover those really, really basic fundamental stuff. Just because like it's hard to get that stuff, you know? So we're gonna talk about sort of the nuances. One of my favorite setups here is circling to my left here, and drawing this leg forward, and now look, I could attack the inside of the leg here. I could stab step and go Uchimata, okay? I'm drawing his legs to me, and I'm gaining this inside position here, okay? By taking this step in, pulling the leg forward, and now the only thing that's very risky is Tanya Toshi, but if I have a good shoulder position, if he tries to sit Tanya Toshi, it's gonna to be very difficult. For against the here, we can push to the coach Gary because he can't close the arm down. The key is controlling this shoulder here in this hip to hip position. So now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set up here and we're gonna go Ouchi, but the Ouchi may not work. So I'm gonna bump this leg out of the way. And now we have a very, very good situation where we own this inside space. And now look, I could easily throw my hips across for a classic Ogoshi. Very difficult to do, I should say. So now we have this position here, fighting for the shoulder. I'm gonna circle, protect the inside leg. Sometimes it doesn't work, so I'm gonna do a back step here. The show leg, I'm gonna go do a turn throw. But what I'm really trying to do is create this lane behind him. I'm gonna drive my foot to the opposite side. I'm gonna use my head to drive his weight toward this far leg. I clamp my elbow, and look, I can clothesline him using my head. Going for Tanya Toshi. And that is Tanya Toshi done right, with the proper angle. Sensei, what's Tanya Toshi done wrong? Tanya Toshi done wrong is if I'm going for Tanya Toshi while I'm still in front. Because then when I sit, I sit into this knee. Very, very dangerous. You want the proper angles here. And what you want for Tanya Toshi is you want to pull everything in, drive the weight to that far leg. Okay, dude, I can't stress this enough. So now, even if I want to sit on this front knee, eh, you can't. Right? So this is like a very clean Tanya Toshi, in my opinion. Right versus left, we're doing judo here. As I go like obstacle over the back, I accept it. Okay, and as I do so, look, I'm pulling that sleeve. And now we're gonna enter into a, a series of attacks. I'm showing this Tanya Toshi here by taking the step, circle. Ochi here, Koshi Guma. Sorry, Ogoshi. Okay. Back, moving. I'm beating the shoulder up. Now from here, there's lots of options. What I'm gonna show you next is the Yaguro Nage series, the front Uchimata. The way I like to set this up is I like to shoot this leg forward here. You see I'm going deeply through? Yeah, now this is a very risky position to stay hanging out because my leg is underneath my opponent's weight. So if he sits tiny toji here, it might cause me a lot of trouble because my leg can get right trapped underneath. So from here, look, I'm bringing my leg together and then I'm loading him onto my front leg. I'm entering, squeezing everything in, feet together, lifting and elevating. Front with your mind. Super mm. popular now. Sometimes I'll set it up like this, make it look like I'm going up. Boom. And that's when I cheat this leg to the inside position. 
Hey, we're doing judo. I'm looking for this collar. Looking for this collar. Oh! So I'm going to enter lift and then dump him over to my dominant side. And the beauty of this one is when I lift here, if it doesn't work, look, I still have this leg and I can elevate and run them. Commonly, you want a Kosoto to kind of pair this. People go for this. Can't get it. And then you see the Russians and the Uzbeks coming to the far side Kosoto. So now what you have is an entire series. Right? I generally like fighting here because I like the low risk nature of this. If I want to bail, I can. If you're kind of beating me here, dominant position, I could just go Tomonage. I don't like it. But when you're hip to hip, you're locked in. Boom, hip to hip locked in. Look, I got fake, turn, Ochi, woman, Uchimata. Ochi, maybe Kosoto to the far side. Who knows? Drop Ochi. If I feel like I'm in trouble, look, I can always drop Ochi. I have this knee. I can chill it. Bang. So that's kind of a nice little series there for you. Can you mix and match these things? Let's do 30 more seconds, Sensei. Okay, so let's play with it a little bit. Good. Yes! Yeah. Accepted. Yeah. Oh, it was long, huh? That was good.